Nini, everyone, Zabora here. Um, welcome back to our Is Jesus, Jesus Biblical series, part six, I think we're on. So today we are going to be talking about Psalm 22 again. Now I did cover this in the last video when I said, you know, Psalms are not so, are not prophecy. And I did actually get somebody who's like, hey, you know, I'm a Christian. And could you explain to me why Psalms aren't prophecy? I was like, sure, dude. Do you know of a single Jew who says that they are about the Messiah? at all? No. Because Jews who wrote the Old Testament, including the Psalms, knew, well, actually, <laughs> I take that back, supposedly, uh, supposedly the Jews wrote the Psalms and they were about David, mostly, mostly. Uh, see, David being the king of the Israelites or Judah or whatever the fuck it was, uh, is constantly at war, and his children are the ones that are literally raping each other and killing each other. Yeah, because that's God's chosen king. The guy who's got children that rape their sisters and then murder their brothers. Yeah, it's God's chosen people right there. So anyway, um, that in itself is a big significance that the Jewish people did not recognize the Psalms as prophetic. If you want to learn more about what the Jews did recognize as uh, prophecies for the Messiah, you're going to have to turn to Ezekiel 37 for that. And we will go over that, but that'll be at a later time. Instead, let's go ahead and we're going to look at Matthew 27, 39 through 43. Now, please remember, the people who wrote the New Testament had access to the Old Testament. That is very important. And it has been proven that this, uh, that Psalms 22 has been altered uh, through both the Isaiah uh, Dead Sea Scroll, the original one, and uh, portions of the Dead Sea Scrolls that were found uh, that contained specific Jewish writings that were obviously altered in the King James Version of the Bible. Now, you don't have to take my word for it. You can go ahead and Google that information yourself. Let's go ahead and just continue on here. So, those who passed by hurled insults at him, shaking their heads and saying, you who are going to destroy the temple and build it in three days, save yourself. Come down from the cross if you are the Son of God. In the same way, the chief priests, the teachers of the law, and the elders mocked him. He saved others, they said, but he cannot save himself. He's the King of Israel. Let him come down now from the cross, and we will believe in him. He trusts in God. Let God rescue him now if he wants him. For he said, I am the Son of God. All right, just to be clear here, guys, uh, the Messiah is a human and not the actual Son of God. Now, supposedly, this is fulfilled in Psalms 22 again in verse 7 and 8. All they that see me laugh me to scorn. They shoot out the lip. They shake their head, saying, He trusts on the Lord that he would deliver him. Let him deliver him, seeing he delighted in him. So, um, is that like the only part of this psalm that's prophetic? I mean, like I know in other parts of the Bible you point to specifically this psalm, but um, are all the psalms prophetic or just these itty bitty tiny little verses that fit your narrative that you want to push? What about the psalms of uh, David being out in the desert? Are those about Jesus? What about the ones about Moses, supposedly? Are those about Jesus, too? See, just because something is similar, that doesn't mean it's the same. Okay? So think about it. What, what makes more sense? That uh, the people who had access to the Old Testament wrote in this narrative in order to push an agenda about the church and controlling people and having Caesar get what's Caesar's? Or is it more likely that the Son of God was born of a virgin and these people were told by their God that whales are fish, bats are birds, and, uh, you know, you should rape your daughters and sell them into slavery? So, yeah, that's my question. Are all the Psalms prophetic or just the ones that fit your narrative? So that's it for tonight, guys. Sanate.